Hello Google Workspace fans, it's James here from Kimberly IT. In this video I'm going to show you how you use e-signatures inside Google Docs. This is a great alternative to DocuSign, Adobe Sign and HelloSign. So if you're paying for those tools, you might not need them anymore because you can do it inside Google Docs and it is part of your Google Workspace subscription. First off, open the document that you want people to sign and then go to the insert menu and go to e-signature fields. This sidebar will open on the right hand side. Inside here you've got some options. The first one is inserting fields, so for client or company is how I've got it set up. But if you go to manage signers, you can change this and you can rename the fields. The fields are only what you see. The person you send it to doesn't see these fields. But you can add up to 10 people to sign a document. So I've just got it so our client signs it and our company signs it, so that would be me signing the document. Hit save once you've set those fields up. Then from the drop down menu, select the field that you want to insert. So I want to insert for the client first and I'll do the company afterwards. So what I want to do is I want to get their signature. So I drag the signature field and then I will drop it into the area of the document that I want it to be dropped into. And it will just automatically insert itself there. I can actually change it to, between the signers as well. So if you've got multiple signers, you can change who signs which box. I'm then going to drop in the date that I want signed. So this automatically gets filled. So once they've signed it, the date automatically gets inserted. And I also want to have their name in there. Again, I'm going to do this for the uh, one below, but I'm going to drop it to the company now. So this would be where I put my signature in, uh, the date that I signed it, and my name. Uh, so that's gone in there. Um, you can also do a text field where you can enter your own text. So if you've got something customizable, you can drag and drop that in there, give it a field name, and that will be recorded as well when you send it to the person. Once you've done that and entered the, the, the fields into the document that you want, and you're happy with it, hit request e-signature. What happens is this document, this window pops up uh, where you can name the document. It will automatically take the name that you've already given the document. Then you enter the, the email signatures, I mean the email addresses of the people you want to sign the document, and you can also leave a message. Um, the audit trail, you can select the language on there. For some reason, it defaults to the United States, English. Uh, I'm in the United Kingdom, so I want English United Kingdom, so I have to select that each time at the moment. Once I've entered the email addresses of the people who are signing the document and a message, I then just click the Request e-signature button. That will then convert the document into a PDF, and it then gets emailed out to the people. They get a notification, which they can click on, and then come into the document to sign. Then once they've signed the document, you'll get a notification that they've signed it, and you have now got a PDF with the signatures of everyone on there inside your My Drive area of Google Drive. For some reason, it doesn't save it into the shared drive that you may have this document already in. It will appear in your My Drive folder. So if you can't find it, have a look in your My Drive folder. And that's where the signed completed document will be. You can always move that back into a shared drive afterwards. So that you can see what it's like when an email is sent a notification and document is completed, I've now brought in my personal email address and my business email address. I'm going to hit request e-signature. You'll now see it's creating the PDF that it's going to send out to my, my personal email address and me. Uh, it's going to ask me if I want to share it with the people outside. I'm going to say yes, I do want to share it with them because I want them to sign it so they need to have access. It's going to continue creating the e-signature PDF and then it's just going to email it off. Uh, there you go, it's actually giving me a link directly to the document uh, that it has created. So I'm going to click on that now actually and we'll just go through that document because uh, that will be the easiest way to see it. So this is what they'll receive. They'll receive an email notification. When they click on the link, it will come to this. And in the top right hand corner, they will have a couple of options. They can sign, they can reject, and they can view the details. The details is really just the history of the document that it was created by so-and-so and who signed it so far. Handy if you've got multiple people that are signing up to 10 people, as I mentioned earlier. So it's just a bit of history there. So I, I want to sign this document. So what I will do is hit sign. And it will now load up and it will ask me to enter my details. So it's highlighted the fields that I need to fill in. As you can see, it's automatically put the date in. Let's put it in the US order, bit of a nuisance, but that's what it does at the moment. Hopefully they'll change that in the future. So it's UK um, layout, a sensible layout for the date. So if I click on sign, it will then ask you to enter your name. So I'm just gonna type my name in here, uh, then put my initials in. I didn't actually ask for initials in any part of this document, but for some reason it does request that the person puts their initials in. Then I'm going to click uh, Adopt and Sign. And as you can see, that's now filled in the signature box. And then I just need to enter my name because I type my name in to sign it. It knows what my name is. It's just automatically stuck that in there. Once the person has finished doing that, finished signing the document, all they need to do is hit Mark Complete in the top right hand corner. Uh, agree to the uh, conditions of this uh, service that, are off, uh, that Google offers. Uh, hit Agree and Continue. That's now been done. They can close the window. 
you'll get an email notification come through to you that the person has signed. And as I said, once everyone has signed, uh, you'll then have the completed document inside your My Drive area where you can find it and then move it to where you want to to store that document. But that is essentially how you use e-signatures in Google Docs.